you are in a relationship with someone who you want to be with forever, then please listen to this so you don't make the same mistakes I did and lose that person. No relationship is perfect. Every relationship has its problems, its its fights, its issues, and sometimes those are problems that are reoccurring that have just never been resolved, but like listen to this. If you guys are fighting and you can't figure out like why you can't get on the same page, then this is what you do. Take your feelings and the way you feel you've been hurt and take that and, and shove it aside. This is not about you right now. Chances are somehow you've hurt your partner too and, and they want you to hear them and you want them to hear you. So you have to put your feelings aside and you have to actually put yourself into their head. Now, once you're in their head, think of the way that you acted in a situation, something you said, an action you did then, and then think about based on your action, how would they have felt? I want you to really feel it. Like this is not just like, um, you know, put yourself in their shoes. Like I need you to feel it, feel that emotion, feel their pain. And if you both do that, then you can finally get in a place where you understand each other's pain and you can just, you can make up, you can, you can forgive and you can let go. Because if you cannot do this, those, those reoccurring issues will keep coming and they will never get resolved and the anxiety and stress will build and build and build until there's nothing left to give for either of you. Don't let these stupid fights make you lose the thing that you love the most in the world. It's not worth it. I promise. Put your feelings aside. Empathize with your partner and just love them. Literally just love them. Like please stop fucking fighting and just love each other probably the best relationship advice you're gonna get today picking up the phone or texting them back and saying hey i'm not ignoring you i just don't have the energy to talk right now is much more healthy for relationships than just ignoring their messages or calls keep that in mind here's the simplest dating advice you'll ever need in your life but most of you won't listen because you guys like to argue and complain about stupid shit that is very easy to understand. That person that has inconsistent communication with you just doesn't like you that much. That person that ghosted you isn't a bad person. They just became uninterested or found someone else. Move on, find someone else to text you. If your partner cheated on you, leave them. And if you don't leave them, which most of you won't because most of you lack standards and self-respect, shut up about it, stop hanging it over their head and learn how to work through it together or else move on. If a man does not want to pay all your bills and wants to go 50-50, that doesn't make him a bum, that doesn't make him a bad guy, that doesn't make him a little boy. He's still a man, just a man with different interests and goals in life. Go find you someone who will. There's 8 billion people in the world, I promise you you can find one. That woman that wants all her bills paid doesn't make her a gold digger, doesn't make her a slut. Just go find you one that could do 50-50 with you. It's very simple. She just doesn't want what you want, and that's okay. You cannot attract the type of person you want if you are also not the person that they want. Get off the couch if you want a gym rat. Open up a fucking book if you want someone to read books a lot. It's very simple. Men aren't shit. Your standards are. You attract what you are. So maybe it's time to do some self-reflection. Most men under 30 don't have their shit together. And that's okay. Stop letting social media fill up your head with these unrealistic standards. This one is going to ruffle some feathers. Men have it way harder in life than we do. Especially when it comes to money. So stop being a 25-year-old woman wondering why this 25-year-old man can't bust his coochie open online for 10000 a month. It just does not work that way for men. Believe people when they show you who they are, the first time. You do not get to choose or change the way someone decides to love you. You simply sit down, shut up, observe, and decide whether you want to participate in the way that they love or not. At the end of the day, we are all humans who have imperfect designs, so stop trying to find that perfect person. They don't exist, and that thing you hate about them, you probably hate about yourself. Don't take advice from married people or single people. Take advice from happy people. But even that's hard to find sometimes because most people lie to themselves about what actually makes them happy. Stop coming into relationships with a lacking mindset. You have a hard time finding the end-all be-all person because you yourself are not the end-all be-all person. So do some self-work, shut up, get off the internet, and stop fucking complaining. This is a healthy relationship checkpoint, which means I'm about to ask you a question. And if you've never talked about that question with your partner, you need to stop what you're doing and send it to them because every question that I ask in this series is absolutely essential if you want your relationship to last and be healthy. I personally promise that some of these conversations might be relationship saving at some point. What area or part of your relationship can you foresee becoming a potential problem in the future, especially if you don't start to work on it now? So many relationships wait until something is explosive until they address it 
it and start working on it. And that's why they broke up. Don't be one of those couples. All right, what are three signs that your relationship is worth fighting for? My name is Christina. I am a certified relationship coach. And if you are going through a hard chapter or a hard moment in your relationship and you're debating, do I leave? Do I stay? What do I do? Do I keep putting in the work? I have no idea. Maybe this can help you figure it out. My number one that your relationship is worth fighting for is that you can be vulnerable with your partner. It is so rare that we find someone that we build a connection with that we can let our walls down, right? It's scary to let our walls down. Trust me, I know. I used to be in a toxic, abusive relationship and y'all, I kept those walls up thick. It was really hard for my husband to knock those walls down. But the minute that I started realizing like, okay, I can be myself around this person. I can be vulnerable around him. He sees me, my true colors, all of the good, the bad, the quirks, the weird things. And he still accepts me for my true authentic self. Let's that wall chip down a little bit. And if you feel like you can be your true self with someone, it's a rare thing to find. So if you can be vulnerable and you've let your walls down with someone, it could be worth fighting for. Secondly, you realize that relationships take more than just love and you want to put in the work that relationships and healthy relationships especially require from you. They require you to learn healthy, open, and honest communication. They require you to, yes, heal from your past and let go of past mistakes that have been made. They require you to forgive and, you know, not forget, but forgive and be able to move forward. And they require you to step out of your comfort zone sometimes. Sometimes we also have to compromise. Maybe we have to find ways to meet in the middle and we don't always get our way. So they require a lot of work from us. And if you still are being like, I have more effort and more drive in me to put in that work, that's a sign that it's worth fighting for. And lastly, if you both understand that we're all human, love and relationships are capable of lasting. And humans fail, humans stumble, and humans make mistakes along the way. No one is perfect and no relationship is perfect. So you want to lower your expectations to the reality of the situation. And if you have a partner that is willing to take accountability and work through the things that you both know aren't working, that's worth fighting for.